there may be many human beings who may not be knowing or having any knowledge of the Quran or the Bible. So how can we decipher which of the two is right? Or who has copied from whom? The best test is the test of science. If we put these two scriptures to the test of science, we will know the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read superficially, we come to know that the Bible and the Quran are the same. But if we do a research or we analyze it, we come to know that the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read the Bible, it's mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number one, that Almighty God, He created the heavens and the earth in six days. And these six days are 24 hours days. Mention the Bible. The Quran too speaks about the creation of the universe and says, Almighty God has created the heavens and the earth in six ayams. Ayam is plural of yom. One of the meaning of yom is a 24-hour day, but the other Arabic meaning of yom is a long period, an epoch. Today, scientists, they say, that our universe was created in billions of years. So to say it was created in 624 days is wrong. But the scientists have got no objection with the Quran when the Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six ayams. That is, six long periods without defining them to be strict 24 hours. Furthermore, it's mentioned in the Bible in the first book, book of Genesis, chapter number one verse number three to five, that Almighty God, He created the day and the night on the first day. And He created the light on the first day. It later says in Genesis chapter number one, verse 14 to 19, the source of light, that is, the stars and the sun, they were created on the fourth day. Imagine, the effect is created on the first day and the cause of the effect on the fourth day. The sun was created and the stars on the fourth day, and the light from the sun and the star was created on the first day. It's illogical. How can the effect come before the source? Quran 2 speaks about the creation of the heavens and the earth, but does not give this unscientific sequence. Furthermore, it's mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number 9 to 13, that the earth was created on the third day. And Genesis chapter number one, verse number 14 to 19, that the sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. We know from science that the earth and the moon are the part of the parent body that is the sun. So to say that the earth was created before the parent body, the sun, is unscientific. The Quran too speaks about creation of the heavens, the sun, the moon, and the earth, but it says it was created simultaneously. Imagine Prophet Muhammad copied from the Bible and he changed the sequence. He says, no, both were created together. Bible further says, in the book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number nine to 13, that Almighty God created the vegetables and the vegetations on the third day. And Genesis chapter number one, verse 14 to 19, he created the sun on the fourth day. Scientifically, it's not possible that the vegetation can survive without sunlight. It's totally unscientific. Furthermore, the Bible says in Genesis chapter number one, verse number 16, that Almighty God created two great lights. The greater light, the sun, to rule the day, and the lesser light, the moon, to rule the night. So the Bible says the light of the sun as well as the light of the moon is its own light. The Bible says the light of the moon has its own light. But the Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, the light of the moon is not its own light, it's a reflected light. So imagine the prophet copied from the Bible and he made corrections. Not the own light, it is a reflected light. It's not humanly possible. Only one who has this knowledge is Almighty God. There are several examples we can give a talk only on this. And I had a debate with Dr. William Campbell on the topic, the Quran and the Bible in the light of science. And there, I've mentioned many unscientific points mentioned in the Bible. Time does not permit me to go into details. 
There are various unscientific things mentioned in the Bible, which is not mentioned in the Quran. For example, according to the Bible, Adam, peace be upon him. He came into existence about 5,800 years before. Science tells us that the human beings came into existence millions of years before. The Quran too speaks about Adam and Salam, but does not give a date. The Bible says in Genesis, chapter number 6, 7, as well as 8, about Noah and the flood. And it says that the full world was submerged under water. At the time of Noah, that is approximately 21st, 22nd century BC. Quran too speaks about Noah Salam, but it does not give it a date. It even speaks about the flood, but it says it was a localized flood, only it flooded the Ummah, the people of Noah Salam, not the full world. Today, archaeological evidence shows us that the 11th dynasty of Egypt, as well as the 3rd dynasty of Babylon, they existed without interruption since the 21st, 22nd century BC. So archaeological evidence says that what is mentioned in the Bible is totally wrong. There are various examples, we can give hundreds, time does not permit. So surely, this Quran has not been copied from the Bible. Neither it has been forged. As mentioned in the Quran in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 1 and 2, it says that, do they say he forged it? Nay, it is the truth from the Lord. So that he may give admonition to the people to whom no warner has come in the past. So surely, we can undoubtedly say that neither Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon the author of the Quran, neither did he copy or plagiarize or learn it from any other source.